So with the practice, we learn to arrive on our mats and to shape our bodies into an easy way of sitting. It can be in a chair, it doesn't have to be on your mat. Um, so fold the legs comfortably, let your hands rest, so your arms rest, feel your ribs rest, everything rest. Just come in peace, best you can. And just bringing some aspects of the practice um, I usually say to practice with compassion towards yourself, and that is ahimsa, which is one of those yamas. It's one of those restraints. So it's a nonviolence. And so just taking care of yourself is a way of practicing that. Just have a moment with the idea of ahimsa. And now considering a sense of contentment with the way things are. Just cultivating that quality. Be gentle with yourself. Just exploring the idea, santosha, contentment. Be as you are right now. You probably have already softened your senses a little bit naturally. So that's one of those limbs of yoga that turning the awareness inward. Let your eyes be soft, ears soft. Noticing and drawing awareness inwardly, drawing senses inwardly. And there's a pranayama, a breathing technique that can help us with that inward senses. And just starting with the ears today, so we would gently close the flips of the ears with your thumbs and just let your hands come around your head. Sit nice and tall, a little tone in your low belly. We're gonna close our eyes, close our ears and hum on your exhale just two times. Breathe deeply in. Close the ears gently and hum, exhale, just vibrate, whatever pitch, it doesn't matter. Mm. Release your ears, take a breath. One more time, a nice big inhale, hum the exhale. Mm. Take a regular breath when that is complete. Release your hands. And our third sound is the OM. So that vibration on the hum is like that OM sound. Inhale deeply. Ah. Sense of oneness, non separateness. Release your hands, gaze your low belly towards your spine for a seated twist in the meditation pose. Reach across to your right knee, reach your other arm back, look back. So use the tone in the low belly. Stay here, a nice long set. Non-harming. So we concentrate on our breathing. Haven't talked about that yet today, but that's usually how we start, is let the brain and the breath come together. Notice the breath, be endlessly interested in it. Even waves of breath through the nose. And just one more time, breathe deeply. Exhale, return to center. 
Vigorously reach your arms up. And exhale, bring them down. Second side, tone low belly, sit tall, reach across, take your other hand back, look back. Non-harming, create positive opening in your body. One way that yoga brings us to freedom is through that freedom of tension, releasing the body structures. Releasing the breath from shallowness. Learning to just stay soft with these sensations. Combination of strength and softness. One more time. Exhale, center. Inhale, vigorous reach with the arms. And release. Last thing here with our legs folded, hands back, fingers forward, hug your elbows towards each other, lift your heart. Unfurl your legs and reach them out so the feet can stay down, knees bent or straight. Heart lifting boat pose. Navasana. Whole body strong, just be where you are. That's that santosha, contentment. One more time. Release your feet if they're not already down. Cross your ankles, hands come forward, and we pop ourselves back. Two hands and knees. And coming to calf stretch pose. So let the hands spiral open, ground them, and take your right leg and reach back through your heel. So we start to introduce that plank work in the upper body. Feel the muscles of the chest and the upper back strong. Breathe out one more time. Reach back through that heel. And so we're already right near our side plank pose here. So let's come on over to the left side for side plank. Just shift your right foot in line with the left side of the body and then maybe add that upward reach. Concentration, steady breathing. One more inhale. Exhale, bring your arm overhead like a rainbow and take a last breath. And release back to hands and knees for the second side. Calf stretch, taking the left heel back, press the heels of the hands. The low belly comes towards the spine and the breath is steady. One more time. A little bit more space in that opening if possible. And then Vasi Sasana, so the right knee and hand are in position. Bring the left foot in line and up reach. Concentrate. So we use the belly, the core, all the limbs, and the concentration of the brain and the breath. Energize this. One more breath. Exhale, arm overhead, rainbow variation. One more deep breath. And then carefully return back to center for cow sign. So we have a little bit of a heart forward on the hands and knees. Tone in the low belly. So not a low back pose. Keep the low back rather neutral. Gaze towards your nose. Become fully present. That's that turning of inwardly of the awareness. And then let your spine round, tucking your tail, tucking your head, taking several rounds of breath to become present here. Feel the sensations, keep them positive. Breathe steadily. Use one more breath to explore in your own body. Find stillness there. And then bring your, just release your spine and hips back into quarter dog. 
Toes untucked today, head down, elbows up. Feel a deep wave of breath flow through your body. And then walk with both of your hands over towards the right side. Just create a nice release for your body. Head is relaxed. If you wanted to spend some time with your toes tucked under, you can do that. So a nice big release along that left wing. One more time, breathe deeply. Stretch deeply. And then soften that deep stretch back to center. Come up to a cow breath. Tuck under your toes for the second side. And walk out. Find that nice degree of work for your body. So you can keep walking until you feel that nice side release. Relax as much as you can. Ujjayi pranayama is the breath practice during our poses or asanas. Steady breath with sound through the nose. Just one more exhale. A nice, careful, slow release out of deep side bends. And inhale, upward facing dog. Release your toes, edge your pelvis forward, roll your shoulders back. And flip over your feet, downward facing dog. Step in a bit if you need to. Refine your hands, press the heels of the hands, bring your head down. The low belly flies upward and that's where the gaze is here. The awareness, the eyes is towards that belly center. So just look up between your legs behind you towards where your navel is. And then see if you can bring your weight back to your legs one more time. And then shift towards your hands, step your feet one at a time forward and they come to halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward wherever your hands reach, rest them. Inhale, enjoy a journey up to standing, release your arms. And exhale, bring them to your heart center and step your feet together. Let the big toes touch if possible. Samasthiti. Arranging yourself where you're gathered in towards the center. So that samadhi, same, comes into our practice with same standing, also same breathing. Same seeing. And now let's honor that searing sun of summer, that fire energy. Reach up to the sun, it lengthen your spine. Bow forward, all the way in. Halfway lift inhalation, a little forwardness with your head. Balls of the feet a little bit, bend your knees, take your legs back, bend your elbows to some degree, hug them in. Inhale, lengthen your spine, upward dog. Flip over your feet and take downward dog for five breaths. It's just jumping here. Just take that first moment or moments to refine and then hold steady trusting this shape that we return to. Try to seek that navel gaze today, that flying upward energy coming from the core. Inhale, step forward, halfway lift. Exhale, slowly fold forward, whatever that is for you. Curl your forehead towards your spine, your legs. Press your feet, rise and reach. Just a full process with the breath. 
Exhale, release your arms. One more, just like that. Inhale, arms up, gaze up, reach. Tone in your low belly, fold forward, reach down, curl in. Inhale, head up, half lift. Exhale, take your other leg back first. And maybe try from the knees, chaturanga, hug your elbows in, bend them, shift forward. Let your inhale straighten your arms, belly forward. Ease into that upper dog shape. Flip over your feet, hips high, and release into downward dog, five breaths. And try just a little lateral shift, side to side. And then find your center. Waves of breath flowing through. Fully present. Why asana is so powerful to help us. Learn yoga, being present in our bodies. One more exhale. Inhale, step forward, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. And then movement with breath, standing up, reaching up, all in that inhale. Let your hands seal together. Find that top of the reach, top of the breath. And your exhale, pause back at your heart center. Feel. Touch your breath with your awareness. Touch your body with your awareness. Let's do one more um, classical sun salutation to cross up the thumbs, spread out your fingers. Inhale up and back. Just explore a little back bend, pelvis forward. Exhale, slowly fold forward. Halfway lift, inhalation. You can just get your hands ready on that inhale. And then if you need to, bend your knees, place the hands down, and step just your right leg back on Dhaniyasana. Crescent lunge shape, front knee towards the toes. Roll your shoulders back. One more time. Press your front foot and take your leg back. Flow through upward dog, downward dog in your own way. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Breathing in. Breathing out to the downward dog and stay. Exhale, one more breath, long spine. Nice upward energy in the belly to help you step forward. Anjani Asana, back knee down, front knee forward, low lunge. If you, if you struggle reaching the floor in these poses, it'd be nice to have a set of yoga blocks, considering where we are with things. Not a big investment and they will last forever. One more time, breathe deeply. Tuck under your back toes and step forward into your half lift. Fold forward, release everything. Press your feet, come up, cross your thumbs up and back. Exhale, release to your center. Just take a free breath. Be feeling a little bit of this dual light quality to the consciousness, the reflective nature. Uttanasana, fit feet hip distance apart. Tone your low belly towards your spine. Fold forward, take your elbows. Bend your knees as needed. Remember that ahimsa, the non-harming.
And to help us find our way, practicing compass pose where we stay um, with this idea, but come towards the right leg, a little bit of a twist. So take your right arm through the back and your left arm through the front and just hold on again. Bend your knees enough to take care of your low back. Let the forward folds calm your nervous system. Not resisting that natural quality of them. And one more, other side, make sure the knees have enough bend so you can take your left arm behind and your right arm from the front. Just gently hold on. The low belly flies towards the spine. Really good pose is to notice that upward energy there. Down here near your feet, maybe just take a moment and thank them for spreading and grounding and rooting you to the earth. Breathe out once more. Release to center. Exhale out. Use an inhale to stand up and roll your shoulders back. Bend your knees and step out to the right for triangle pose. Turn your right leg out 90 degrees and your back foot in going in. And let's go ahead and take this um, left arm. Thumb down, go back in space, and just slide your hand behind your waist. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, over and down into triangle, focusing on that heart turning towards the sky aspect of the pose today. So just don't press into your knee, anywhere else on your leg is fine. Lengthen your spine. Energy flows through the feet, through the knees. One more breath. Keep your arm behind and bend your front knee, Parasakanasana. Same idea, that rotation of the face and the heart upward. Five breaths. That's four. One more time. And releasing these actions, but keep your front knee and back into reverse warrior. It's nice and easy. If you want to do something else with your arms, you can add a favorite variation or just reach back with your top arm. Part of your brain keeps your knee centered over your ankle. Sorry. Exhale once more, finishing depth. Release these actions and turn to the other side for those three. Triangle first with the arm behind. Find your foundation. Reach your right arm back, thumb down, back in space so it slides behind your waist. Just let it, the back of your hand rest on the back of your body. Breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out, Utita Trikonasana variation. Extend the triangle. Let asana limb, we say trikonasana, triangle pose, means pose, our poses. This is part of our practice. We can bring these other qualities with us here. Quality of concentration. Breathe out once more. Come up slightly, bend your knee over your ankle, rest or reach to the floor, heart towards the sky. Face towards the sky. Just be present when something different brings a new challenge into your body. Do what you can. One more breath. And release from that deep work. Keep your front knee and into a reverse warrior, your own favorite way. Just a nice sense of releasing from those last two deep variations. Find what feels really good on this side.
Breathe one more time. Soften into that exhale. And release your arms and legs. Turn to wide parallel feet. Take a moment on your roots and your big toes. This is another kind of sitting, standing, really symmetrical. Leave your fingers behind your back or hold your elbows. Lengthen your spine, breathe in. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Forward fold first. Knees tend to spine. You can leave your arms on your back or take them away mindfully. Wherever that is for you, the palms can separate. Release anything you can. Four, one more wave of breath. Put your hands soften towards your head. And then one big breath to come up. You really use the legs. Lift your heart at the end. And release your arms. And step your feet closer and back to the top of your mat. Exploring one leg split. It's possible that you might need to touch a wall. So we'll do this without touching the floor and focus on concentration and balance. So um, it's okay if you have something available, a chair or something to touch. I'm gonna try to do this with nothing. So um, easy side, right leg, shift your balance there. Think warrior C as you lean forward. So your toes could stay on the floor as one place. We're lifting that leg. And let your arms express where they're gonna help you balance. Hold your center, reach back, reach front. Like warrior C. See if you could fold forward a little bit more. And then inhale, just concentrate and come up. And exhale, let that be. Little shimmy. Calm. Other side. Concentration, shift weight, reach the right leg back and up to some degree. There's no reason why you couldn't come to the floor with your hands. I was just trying to make it extra concentrated today. So go more if you can. I'm just working with my body here. Be creative with your arms. Where are they going to help you? Dharana, this quality of concentration, strong here. A little bit lower if possible. And come up and let that be. Feel the energy. Come back to Sama Siti He, big toes touch, and bend your knees, Utkatasana. Twist in towards your right, so you can just take the hands over or try to hook your elbow and your arm alongside your thigh and reach up. The legs can squeeze together. One more exhale. Inhale, release everything back to center and up. Exhale, bend your knees, sink down. Take both hands to the outer leg or try to scoop your elbow by your knee and reach up, other side. Concentrating on these actions brings us right into the present. One more time, deep breath. Exhale, unwind and twist and then stand up. And warrior A, big step back with your right leg. Just finishing our standing practice with the warriors. Just grounded. So we have this grounded pelvis, grounded feet, and then upward reaching arms. Ground your shoulders. Gaze up, reach up. Where the eyes go, the mind goes. Thumbs. Steady. And exhale. If possible, if you're familiar enough, turn to the back of your mat, still gazing at your thumbs. 
straighten your knee, turn wide parallel feet. Create that knee bend on the other side, reach your arms. It's okay if you need to look down to see what you're doing. Just trying to use your awareness. And one more exhale, ground. Warrior B, pull those arms front and back. Turn your back toes open. Gaze off your right fingertips. Feel the heart center awaken here. Open and empowered. Steady and strong. So the eyes on the fingertips. Let's change the eyes first to the other side. And then keep them there as you feel your way facing forward, warrior B. It's okay if you check on your knee with your eyes, but I think you can probably feel your way with a little experience. What can you bring softening here? Fully present. Breathe in one floor and breathe out, making your way to frame your front foot, take your leg back. Bring down your knees, hugging your elbows. Upward facing dog, drive with your legs. Flip over your feet, downward facing dog. Exhale one more time. And then lower to your belly in your own way. You can lower through chaturanga or bring your knees down, whatever works for you. Lower and release. Wide arms and legs. Relax your head. Just take a few breaths to ground on your belly. You can rest your forehead or chin down if you like. One more breath. Ground. Then lifting your head, arms, and legs, just like they are. Just try to get them off the ground. And a sense of playfulness. Whole body strong. And one more time, give it energy. Lift and release. Can we do downward facing triple diamond pose? Your feet will come together and your knees are wide. That's one diamond. So my feet stay in the air for this pose. Perhaps your feet will go to the floor. So wherever they will, wherever this will work for you with your legs. The elbows go wide. The hands create that third diamond. So one, two, three diamonds. Just rest your head, shoulders off the ears. Rest your feet together. Take a moment and make sure that you're comfortable. We can use certain energy holds to help us with our emotional health, emotional intelligence. So this is an emotional releasing shape. We're gonna do this on our backs a little later as well. So downward facing things in the realm of sadness or grief, uncertainty, whatever resonates, or it can just be a general sense of just letting your emotions ground, meeting yourself where you are, So we're letting ourselves have some freedom by calming our emotions, by acknowledging them, giving them some space. So I'm doing you for a little bit longer.
two or three more rounds of breath. Especially on exhales, letting go. One more time. Release your feet. Come a little bit more upright and come to a side forearm pose on the right. So right elbow underneath the shoulder, roll onto that side and maybe lift up your hips. Or you can just balance on your side like this, lifting out of your shoulder. So lift up your hips if possible. Maybe reach up. Creating strength in the whole body. One more time. Hand down, hips down, and stretch out and get comfortable on that side of your body. And reach for your bottom foot today. So let your top foot rest, your knee can bend wherever. Open up your arm and reach back. Catch that bottom foot inside or outside. And just relax everything. Feel the front body open. Eyes soft so that the awareness stays inwardly rotated. Deeply breathe again. Slowly as you can. As you exhale, let go of your foot and return to your belly. Second side. Side forearm pose, so oops, spreading your hand open. Tone your low belly towards your spine. Good. Good, be creative with your limbs, with your legs. And stay here if you like, or lift up. So press your feet, press your arms. Maybe add that upper reach, just five breaths. Effort, but add a little softness your face, your breath. And just one more time. Stay strong. Release carefully. Get comfortable on your side. Bend your bottom leg and reach for that foot. Wherever it feels good, just catch it and just relax everything. Creating nice sensation in the pose, a little bit longer. One more breath, move it through slowly and deeply. Release your foot, return to your belly. Could be just seated, flowing through, or just kind of seated. Press into your arms, upward dog. Downward dog, just one breath, establish downward dog. Keep your hips high. Shift forward, cross your ankles, and come on through your legs to wide leg pose. Just take a moment to find that wide seated. Adding side bend to the right leg, up and over. Find your own sweet place in that side opening. A little bit longer, about three more breaths, so a total of eight. Last breath, exploration, feeling complete. And then mindful and slow, releasing back to stillness, back to center. The other side, so we do want to Keep that shoulder off the ear. Just have a gracefulness to that reaching arm by doing so. 
And just let the, the lower hand and arm support where it feels nice. Find your side bend, eight breaths. Maybe let your eyes rest with the eyes closed or just find a steady spot. Concentrate on being present, not attaching, not telling a story, just being. Not liking or disliking. And just two more times. One more time. Finishing. Mindful and slow to let it go. Take a breath in the center. Just feel experience. Ardha Matsyandrasana, hold your right knee in, bring it in front of you on the floor. Left foot goes to the ground and comes around the outside of the knee if possible. We're just in that range somewhere. Sit tall, hold on, breathe in. Exhale, twist over towards the left side. You can either draw your leg in towards you to stretch your hip or let it just rest out into your arm. Gaze back, use your other hand behind for support. Returning to that mind on the breath. Feel the breath move in and out of the nose. The gaze is off the nose as well, so there's lots of awareness right there. Feel the brain close to the breath. Trying to settle those patterns of consciousness. into a state of pure awareness. And enjoy one more of your own breaths. And finding as you exhale, and change your legs to the second side. Left knee folded in front, right foot coming around the knee. Sitting tall, and begin that twist, letting your hip come in or rest out into your arm. And take your right hand behind, twisting, looking back, breathing steady. Samasriti, even waves of breath. In the form of a spiral, my path leads to the divine goal where joy and peace rule. Purely present. Breathe again. As your exhale relaxes you, release back to center and come to your back. You can do so with straight legs or just lie down in your own way for upward facing triple diamond pose. So like Supta Baddha Konasana, feet together, knees apart. Make sure you have, have enough room for your spine. Second diamond and third diamond, elbows wide. Try to settle your skull into that shape in the hands so that nothing is uncomfortable. The heaviness of the head rests towards the floor through that opening. 
with your eyes closed. And just notice what the energy of the shape brings. Returning to that idea of taking care of our emotional bodies. Another way of letting go, but this time with our hearts and faces towards the sky. Letting go of any frustration. Anything else that resonates with you. Naming your emotions that you're struggling with is one way to take care of them. Is your awareness just staying here on your mat with your body and breath? Just gently return it if it's wandered away. Feel your feet, feel your ribs, the earth and the sky. Right now. Finish this practice with three deep breaths, really letting go of those exhales, long exhales. So let go. One more time. Exhale with sound. And then a mindful releasing of your diamonds. And bring your legs up into the air for a plow variation. So you want to have your skull up centered on the floor and not on a support. Place your arms by your sides and take your legs up into the air. Reach for your legs and draw them towards you. So your hips can stay on the ground or the hips can lift up. So we're creating that forward fold shape and on our backs. Find that place where it feels sweet for you. Just drawing your ankles or wherever you can reach on your legs, draw them towards you. Deeply releasing the back body. Parasana, plow pose, trying to release ourselves from the burden of conditioned existence. Nine. One more breath, 10. If your hips have come up, bring them down or just let your legs come away from you. Slide your hands down to your elbows, come to the floor and let your legs just rest towards your face a little bit with your hands to support them today. So we Concentrate upon the shape, meditate upon the shape. Become present with the shape. Softening whatever can be softened. Allowing the mind to be still. One more exhale like that. And then take your arms up into the air as well. Bring your palms together. Uttana Padasana, extended foot pose. So start to bring your legs down so you feel a nice challenge in your belly and then angle your arms to the same degree. So do this to your own degree. 
Not staying in the low back, but feeling strong in your front body. Bring softness into your efforts, knowing that it will be impermanent. Last breath. Hug your knees in and just relax and enjoy. Do your favorite version of this work here. Plenty of time, plenty of space. Slowly let yourself stretch out for a resting pose, Shavasana. Drawing the flesh of your seat towards your heels if you need, but that knees then can help really prepare the spine for this pose. You just want a nice sense of length in the spine. Nice and centered spine, so energy flows there. And let your arms and legs just release their efforts and open out to the sides. The fingers will curl in on themselves. The toes will fall away from each other. It's fine to rest on your side or on your belly if you need an alternative. You or you can rest in peace. Now we have an opportunity to come into a space of just being, not needing to do anything at all right now. The mind and the breath, one river. Resting. May you be free from suffering. May you hold yourself with softness and care. May you be free from suffering and the roots of suffering. May you be free from the suffering caused by any emotions. May you experience ease of body, mind, and spirit. May you respond to suffering with compassion. Take a deep breath and begin to release your stillness from your resting pose, taking several rounds of breath to come around to your seated pose once more. Coming in peace to this place where we will finish our practice with some pranayama, some breathing, concentration, and meditation.
coming to your easy seat where you can take your mind away from your seat and just let it be. And practicing with your dominant hand a 12 count breath meditation. So we're going to use our thumb, showing you that yoga movement and breath can be as simple as using your thumb to touch your own hand. So I will lead us through this, but just basically we'll touch the bottom segment of the index finger, one, second segment, third segment, three, and then we go across the fingertips, four, five, six, down the pinky, seven, eight, back inside, nine, ten, up one, eleven, and twelve is like the middle segment of your ring finger. Don't worry about it but I'll try to talk us through and practice. So let your hand just rest comfortably. Let the other hand rest where it feels good. Let your thumb rest in that first segment of your index finger. Inhale one. Exhale one. Move up to the middle segment index finger. Inhale two. Exhale to top segment. Inhale three. Exhale three. Move across to your middle finger, top segment. Inhale four. Exhale four. Top segment ring finger, inhale five. And exhale five. Top segment of your pinky, inhale six. Exhale six. Move down the pinky to the middle segment, inhale seven. Exhale, seven. Bottom segment of the pinky is eight. Inhale. Exhale. Bottom segment of the ring finger next to it is nine. Inhale. Exhale. Move to the first segment of middle finger next to it is 10. Inhale. Exhale. Move up one segment. Inhale 11. Exhale 11. Move to the middle segment of your ring finger for 12. And relax your hands. Be present with your quality of mind. Spaciousness between the ears. And then slip the back of your left hand into your right. Letting your thumbs touch. And the gesture of meditation. So coming without any special intentions. Inwardly free, fill that space with new energy.
Yoga is to still the patterning of consciousness. Yoga is chitta vritti nirodha. Yoga is chitta vritti nirodha. And take that new energy into your hands. Lift it to your heart. Receive it in your heart. Breathe deeply in. May all beings everywhere find freedom and peace. Namaste. Thank you for joining me.